Thank you very much for joining us again today. Today we're going to talk about the Sage 100 desktop option, classic versus standard. Now this is a relatively recent option. It's only available in Sage 100 versions 2016 or later. Let's take a look at our agenda. First thing we're going to talk about is role maintenance and access to a new option called user settings. And within the user settings, we'll talk about the desktop option, but we'll also talk about another option in user settings called the report zoom level. Then we'll talk about what the differences are between the classic desktop and the standard desktop. And then we'll drill a little bit into some of the standard desktop detail. So there's menu and task visibility, favorites, and there are some view options that I just want to show you. So let's get started. So we're gonna start in role maintenance in Sage 100. So here we are in Sage 100. Now this is what we're calling the classic desktop. So this is the desktop that's been around for quite a while in Sage 100. And I'm using the tree view over here. And obviously some people like to not use the tree view and use the drop down menus and that's perfectly fine. But this interface that has these options is what is known as the classic interface. Again, has been around for quite some time. If I go to the menu, and choose the file option, you can see under file, there is this new option called change user settings. Well, this is a security event and it's intended to be used by the users themselves to set up their own interface and make some choices. To be able to do that, they have to have the rights to access that option. Like all rights in Sage 100, that's controlled by roles. So I'm just gonna go into library master main role maintenance and then call up my role. And if we stay on the task tab and we go down to library master and look at maintenance and data entry, you will see that there's an option for user settings and all members of my role have access to that. Now remember by default, when Sage adds a new option in role maintenance, the right is not given again by default. So you wanna make sure that this right is given to all of your users via their roles. Now that I have the rights to do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the user settings. So now that we have access to the user settings, let's take a look at the report zoom level option. So back in Sage 100, we'll take a look at our user settings. And there's a few settings here that you might wanna take a look at. I just wanna point out one of my favorites before we talk about the desktops. And that is the option to set the default report preview zoom level. Notice that it says 100% here. So what I'm going to do is accept that. And let's just go into accounts receivable, reports, and let's print an aged invoice report. And we'll change our date to 2020. Now, when we preview this report, it's going to come up in Crystal Reports. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, the zoom level on the report is at 100%. And you may not have known that you could change the zoom levels on your reports by going to the magnifying glass here. And you can change it to 100% or 150 or even custom and put in a custom value like maybe, I don't know, 125%, something like that. But my favorite is this option that's called page width. So whatever the width of the page is, it zooms into that width. So even if it's a narrow report, it zooms to the entire width of the page. And even if it's a wide report, it zooms to the entire width of the page. Well, this setting in the user settings for default zoom level lets you change your default level for that. And so what I like to do is change my default level to page width so that it defaults to page width when I preview reports. Our next thing to discuss is the classic versus standard desktop option. Okay, back in Sage 100, now let's talk about the desktop option. This is very simple. Under desktop, you have a drop down and you have two options, either the classic desktop, which is the one that you see now, or the one that is now called the standard desktop. So we'll change that to the standard desktop. We'll go ahead and accept that. Now, for the change to become effective, the user has to exit Sage 100 and come back in. So let me go ahead and do that. 
Well, as you can see, I've exited Sage 100 and I've come back in, and this is now the standard desktop that you're seeing. So the things we're gonna talk about are menu and task visibility, favorites, and view options. So let's go ahead and go back into Sage 100 and take a look at each of these things. So for menu visibility, there is a fundamental difference here in the standard desktop versus the classic desktop. In the standard desktop, if a user clicks on a task that they don't have authorization for, they receive a message that says, you're not authorized for this option. In the standard desktop, if a user is not authorized for a task or a module, then either the task or the module does not appear on the desktop. So the user is not tempted or clicking on things they shouldn't be clicking on. They can't get into them anyway, but it just cleans up their desktop. So if the user only has access to a couple of tasks, those are the only tasks that they're going to see. Also, one of the fundamental differences between the classic desktop and the standard desktop is in the classic desktop, you have the capability to create button shortcuts on the button bar on the top of the page, on the top of the interface. That option does not exist in the standard desktop. So you can't create button shortcuts, but you can create favorites. So if we look over here at the bottom lower quadrant here, we can see that we can go to web content, modules, which is where I'm at, and I can also go to favorites. And you can take any task and right mouse click on it and say add to favorites. You can also right mouse click in the favorites and insert folders, shortcuts, separators, whatever you want. So I can insert a shortcut and I can navigate to an external program and add that as well in my favorites. Or I can just drag things into my favorites as well, or just right mouse click and say add to favorites. So let's go to sales order and sales order entry. I'll right mouse click and you can see there's an option to add to favorites. And now when I go back to favorites, you can see that sales order entry is now one of my favorites. On the menu across the top, you can choose favorites and you'll just see the favorites that you've added here. So this is kind of like having the button bar that existed in the classic desktop. Not exactly the same, but very similar. Now, the other thing that I want to show you about the standard desktop is this. We're gonna to go to the view menu. And first of all, you can change your color schemes. So I can pop this open and I can see all the schemes here. But let's say I just want this dark style, or let's say I want the purple style. So I can change, and this is only affecting my desktop now, because this is specific to the user, I can change the desktop that I use here. I can also take this part of the screen away and just use the menus and drop down there as well. So I can go to modules and you can see I'm currently in the sales order module, but I can also choose a different module. Let's go to accounts payable. And you can see the menu options will change for accounts payable and I can choose options here as well. So I don't have to use the part down below, but I actually prefer it myself, but that's up to you. Back to the view. Here's the biggest reason I think users should use the standard desktop, and that's application scaling. So if I go to application scaling, you will see that there are options called default, medium, large, and maybe extra large. Well, this scales the Sage 100 screens for you depending upon the resolution of your monitor. The higher the resolution of monitor, the more options you have for this setting. I happen to have the medium and large. I have seen clients that do not have the large option, just the medium, but I've also seen clients have the extra large option as well. Let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna change it back to the default. You might notice that the text is a little smaller. If I open up vendor maintenance, you can see the text is kind of small. The screen is kind of small. It may be too small for me to see. But if I change my scaling to medium, you'll see it's a little larger. If I go into vendor maintenance, you can see that everything's a little larger. The text is a little larger. And lastly, if I change it back to large, you can see the text is quite a bit larger. And if I open up vendor maintenance, you can see the screen is quite a bit larger. And of course you can maximize the screen, but the point is the fields scale as well, not just the screen. 
I've seen people do this in Windows where they change the scaling in the Windows application to make the screen bigger, but some of the words run into each other and the text doesn't follow along. With this application scaling function, it does. So I can call this up and I can see uh, the information for this vendor a lot better than I would if I were using default scaling. The other thing to talk about on the view menu is these three options. First of all, I've had clients constantly question why the modules are in a particular order. It looks like they're random. They're not really random. They're just kind of in, in an order in which the modules were developed by Sage. So as they developed a new module, they tended to put it at the end of the list. So it's not exactly random, but you do have an option to sort the module list. So it's an alphabetical order. Also within the module here, so Word Accounts Payable under main, we can sort the menus in alphabetical order. So check printing, electronic payments, Explorer, and main are now, these sections are sorted alphabetically. And then within the menu option, you can also sort alphabetically. So within main, notice that the tasks are now sorted alphabetically. And you can use any combination of these that you wish. So you can make it a little bit easier to find the task that you're looking for, the module that you're looking for, by sorting them alphabetically if you use this view. Or you can just create favorites for all the things that you do. So in conclusion, we talked about role maintenance to give access to user settings. We talked about changing the report zoom level. We talked about the desktop options of classic versus standard. And then under the standard desktop, we have menu and task visibility, depending on the rights of the user. They can create favorites. And then there's also options for changing the way things are sorted and scaling and those kinds of things on the visual tab menu. Remember, these are specific to the user. So there is no global setting for these things. The user can go into their own user settings and change these options to suit themselves is the whole point here. You can find us on our YouTube channel or LinkedIn. You can visit our website at www.nimsassociates.com. You can also contact us at nimsassociates at erp at nimsassociates.com or call 877-454-3200, extension 6346. Again, thank you very much for your time today.